G'day, it's Rusty from Rusty's Outback Adventures and today's video, as you can see, we're up here on top of the caravan um, today's video is all about replacing this uh, shower vent uh, we went away recently and someone forgot to put the, the lid down so by the time we got home we noticed it wasn't there so um, what I've had to do is I couldn't buy a lid so I've gone and bought the uh, a whole new replacement unit which is the, the vent it's got the fan in it and the, the handle here winds up the lid so what we're going to do today is we've got to take these row of screws out of here uh, take the inside uh, fascia off if you like to call it that disconnect the wiring and then I've measured up and, and this is very very similar in size to to this unit so I'm really fingers crossed I really hoping this is just going to be a direct fit it said it was the same size but you never know when you buy these things online okay so let's get to it and we'll we'll uh, see if we can pull this apart all right so these are the four screws that hold this uh, panel this uh, inside fascia in I'm holding this camera upside down sorry uh, let's get these out Yeah, we've got the uh, cover off so that's a good start so I'm really hoping that the new one will fit just inside here and it's just a matter of whipping those screws off and uh, disconnect the wiring up inside there where that motor is so no, I need to be careful of that alright let's get around the roof again the new um, ensuite fan, vent fan they call it. It's just a matter now of installing it where the old one was. This one, at least this one's got a lid now. And if you look here there's a big seal of celastic all the way around. I don't know why you needed that much. But there's screws holding this, this uh, assembly in the roof of the caravan. So we'll need to pull, cut all this celastic off pull the screws out, uh, disconnect the wiring and hopefully the new one will fit straight in the hole. Cut through this bead of elastic that's on the edge. I don't know why there's so much elastic up here but there must be a reason why it's all up here. careful when you're waving Stanley knives around. They are very sharp and they can do a lot of damage really quickly. Let's put this under. Yeah. I got a horrible feeling they've celastic this thing down, so hmm. Alright, I have to go around with a little hammer and just try and dig this out a bit. Well, it took a bit of work, but I've managed to use a chisel and chisel underneath, and they'd celastic it down underneath on the underside. So, sort of wrecked it a bit getting out. We've done a little bit of damage to the tin here, but uh, I'll be able to cover that with 
some some uh, weather strip and also some sealant. So I'll just give you a quick look here. This is the uh, the new unit, and as you can see, it fits in the hole nicely. And what I am going to do, oh, the holes are different different locations. But that's okay. What I am going to do is I'm going to use some of this some of this uh, what's that Morday handy seal. Um, so it's uh, 25 mil wide, 4.8 mil thick, and I'll use that on the underside to give me a good seal. So I'll I'll just rest that here. I've, I've given this a wipe with acetone as well to just just to clean up the surface. So I'm going to use this. And I'll I'll put it. I have to cut the corner off, and I'll put it on the outside edge, and then we'll just mark the holes and drill it. So, uh, oh, let me cut that there. Okay, so there's the weather strip around the outside edge. I'll just get this out of the way so you can see. Alright, so lay that in there, I'll wire that up in a minute. So I know it's probably gonna sit proud by that gap. Let me have a quick look under here. sit there right so I'll just get inside and just make sure that's squared in the hole inside and then it'll be uh, just gets the long screws the screws that came out were only 20 mil but because we've got that the extra thickness of this weather stripping I'm really gonna have to make sure I seal that properly so I'll put longer screws in and I will have to run a bead of celastic because we did damage that tin slightly. So, all right, that'll be the next thing to do. Now, apologies if the image is a little bit shaky. I've got the camera sitting up here on top of the caravan and as I move, it moves a little bit. So I hope the image is not too unstable. I've checked the fit inside and it is fitting quite square in the hole. And I'm gonna use these uh, eight gauge by 30 mil screws. I think that'd be more than, more than enough. And uh, yeah. I'll just run through and put all these in. I won't pull them all the way down just yet. I'll, I'll go around and put them in first. Just line them up. Those of you who are counting, there's 28 screws in the in this vent lid. So that's it for now up on the roof. Uh, I won't seal this until I've gone inside and wired up the fan and, and put that fascia plate inside. So I'll do all that first um, and then we'll just make sure the fan works and I'll wire it up and then we'll come back up here and just, just run a beat of sealant around the last thing we do. Now using a multimeter I determined that the blue wire here is the positive and the black wire here is the negative that's what's coming out of the wall for the power for this um, fan and the instructions say that the white wire here is the negative and the black wire is the positive an unusual sort of color code really um, but what I've done here is I've used these spade connectors I didn't have insulated ones so I put some heat shrink over the over the connector and I'm just going to put a bit of tape just cover each of these because they're going to go back through the hole in the in the uh, wall of the caravan here in the, sorry in the roof of the caravan 
just want to protect them so I'm just going to put a bit of tape over that then I can feed the cable back through this hole in the in the ceiling here and then we can put the, the inner shroud on and before we just go and feed the wires back through I'll just double check the uh, fan make sure it works so this button and the fans running and that's drawing air through the this mesh flywire here so that's all good let's put these cables now I've covered them up we'll just feed them back through the wall get the let me just tuck that away there we go nice and neat and last thing to do now is to put this inner cover on I'll do that now and with this plastic uh, molding, whatever you want to call it, in place, it's actually a bit big. So it's actually, oh, can't hold it here. It's sort of a bit big for the opening, the existing opening. So I'm going to use these holes as a reference and I'm going to mark it and then I'll drill the holes through, just show you what we've got to drill through. You can see here, this is actually the, it's about four mil thick. It's like the plastic poly, carbonate part of the shower unit so shower recess so I need to drill through that so I'm not going to put the screw through it I've marked these these uh, four holes here and I'll just drill them as a pilot through this then we'll screw it up That's the uh, plastic shroud. Guess what? What do you call it? Fascia panel inside, and that's the uh, handle winds the lid up and down. And the I guess we should open the open the lid to turn the turn the fan on. So yeah, looks like we've uh, had a win. Now that we've finished installing the uh, vent. Um, we've finished off inside, wired up the fan, checked it works, and inserted that um, in the fascia. I'm now going to seal it. I'm going to use this Sally's um, roof and gutter sealant in the translucent colour. My son-in-law, who's a plumber, said they use this for all that sort of stuff. So, so that'll be perfect for sealing this uh, edge around here. I've just got to make sure I just cover this damage that we did here too. I'm also going to just put a little smear over the screw heads. It may not be necessary but seeing as they'd covered it before with copious amounts of sealant I'll I'll do it as well. Okay so let's get some of this on here. Install of the uh, shower vent went pretty uh, well, really. The only drama, really, I suppose, of anything was the fact that the old one was sealed so well between the actual underside and the, and the roof of the caravan, so it made getting it off uh, a bit difficult. But all in all, it's all done. Um, yeah, I guess the lesson is to make sure that you've wound the the cover down before you pull out of the caravan park or wherever you camp because that's what's obviously happened I've, I've left it up as we've driven off and the winds got under it and and pulled it off so uh, uh yeah all pleased with the way it's come out um if you enjoyed the video uh, a thumbs up would be appreciated if you'd like to subscribe to the channel the subscribe button's about here and if you give the bell icon a, a, a ring 
you'll be notified of upcoming videos and we've, we've got a few in the pipeline that we're working on at the moment. If you'd like to support the channel uh, in some small way, there's a link in the description below where you could buy me a coffee. Um, all the help I can get with making these videos is greatly appreciated. If you have any comments about the install or any, any, any questions you might have regarding what we put and what we, uh, what we bought, I'll actually put a link to the item that I purchased in the description below. And if it's um, the size that you need, if you're replacing yours, uh, it might give you an idea of where to purchase them from. Alright, so thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.